Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Pardon the fan. It gets a little hot when you try not to use the air conditioner. Keeping my electric bill low. Now, we're dealing with the last days. Listen to this. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to deal with what's going on in this country worldwide. This is crazy. Listen. Starting at verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day, talking about the day of Christ, shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, Antichrist, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple showing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was with when I was yet with you I told you these things and now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of the iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him who cometh is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and in them that perish. Let me read that again. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved and for this cause God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie mm, mm, mm. that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but has pleasure in unrighteousness well <clears throat> that's a little bit tough now isn't it well what this is what I want to deal with we are in the last days right this just said the coming of the Lord is not going to happen till there is a great falling away first correct now listen to this you guys I was just listening to some of the stuff on YouTube some of the news reels and all of that where they talk about how in a lot of these states now, in schools, they're passing laws that forbid people from being able to call a boy a boy, a girl a girl. Now, here's what I have to say about that. Let's go all the way. If you're going to go to the ridiculous if we're going to go to the asinine, don't half step. Let it be a real great falling away. Let's go to the out of this world stupid level. And let's not call old, old, or young, young. Let's not call uh, a, a, <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's not call. <coughs> I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Let's not call fat, fat, or skinny, skinny, or tall, tall, or short, short. Oh, oh, let's not do that. Oh, let's go beyond that, you guys. We should have no identity. Let's not have black, 
be called black. White, be called white. Indian, be called Indian. Let's not even deal with nationalities. Asian, no, 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 no. Don't call them Asian. No, don't call them a Latino. Don't call Indians Indian. No, 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 no. We're not going to go there. Let's just call everybody person. Person of interest. So if they want a description, they should be able to take you to court for saying, oh, that was a fat man. No, 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 no. We don't say fat. No, no, no. Because you could be sued. Oh, that was a, um, a, a, a Latino that was defending himself against that white man. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a person defending himself against a person. Because we don't want to offend. Right? I mean, think about how ridiculous this is, guys. Whoever passed the laws to not call a boy a boy or a girl a girl, it's just as asinine what I just said. So let's have a nationwide campaign, shall we? And let us make sure that if somebody needs a description, we only say the person had this or that on. And if they say, well, was it male or female? Oh, I can't say. That's against the law. Let's really take it to the ridiculous. Shall we, you guys? Now, the reason I say that is because when there's a great falling away, just like the Bible said, people choose to believe a lie. They would rather believe the ridiculous than the probable. The ridiculous to the truth. That's the day and age we live in. The day of the great falling away. We're not just falling away from God, you guys. We're falling away from reality. Wake up. I am telling you, this mess, you think it stops there, it's going to get crazier and crazier. You watch and see. Everybody's going to have an identity crisis in a minute. 